Hello, I'm the host of the DIY Homefront channel, and my name's Ben. I just wanted to welcome you aboard. So next, let's show you a few things you can expect to see in today's video. Three pumps. Six. Okay, there's seven greases in that one. Well, now that you've seen what today's about, let's see what you can expect from the channel in the future. We'll do yard work and cover yard equipment. We'll have fun and do fun projects with the grandkids. Can a do-it-yourselfer do auto repairs? It's going to go from a pop-up to a full-up, and you might be here to see it. Might need to do some plumbing. And don't forget, there's always the garden. With a great fence comes great responsibility, maintenance. All right, can you guess what's green and yellow? And the winner is my John Deere 1025R tractor. And it's Natalie, the boss, Miss Honeydew. Dog one is a three-legged hero rascal. And dog number two is Friday. Dog three is the neighbor's dog. Goes by Pup Killer, Phantom, Potter, and Go Away. And finally, on a serious note, please be safe. Don't necessarily do what I do. I'm just a homeowner. I'm not a licensed professional. You know, I'd hate for anybody to get hurt doing something because they saw me do it. So just please be careful. And like and subscribe. So what's a grease gun and why would you need one? Well, a grease gun is basically some type of device that forces grease out of a container into a enclosed area. So if you had ball bearings and an axle, if you had bushings or moving parts on a forklift, especially in cars and trucks, the suspension parts in the front, the steering rack, what makes the tires turn left and right, all those things have grease fittings. This is the grease gun I used probably for the first 10 years. If you can picture this hose connected here, and instead of this, I just had this little end. It's nothing wrong with it it does a job it's got some drawbacks it takes two hands first of all so you have to use two hands to get the grease in the way the grease goes in grease tube you end up popping both ends and sticking this on and invariably after a couple weeks it starts to ooze and to leak so every time you end up using it, you spend about five minutes wiping everything down, cleaning everything up. Nothing wrong with that. And these are grease fittings. They have a small ball bearing at the tip with a spring underneath it. And whenever you attach the end to it, whenever you attach the end to it and push the grease in, the grease is forced past that ball bearing into the tube and into wherever it's supposed to be. This isn't too bad. It just has a little wire ring. But it's hard to tell if you got it on or not. So that was Grease Gun 1.0. This is Grease Gun 2.0. It's called the Lube Shuttle. The cartridges of grease that you get look like this. So you screw this into it and it will not leak. There's nothing on the bottom that's pushing up. It doesn't leak so you don't spend any time cleaning it up. The other nice part is this handle. Whenever you want to get grease out Whenever you want the grease out, you just squeeze and grease comes out. It only takes one hand. Really cool. Oh, I should have done that. I can't remember if it came with this ring or not, but I always store it with this ring pushed up around the grips because it takes up less space. The other neat thing about this particular gun well, there's actually a couple of neat things. So 
So lube shuttle, cool, one hand grip, easy to use. I also ended up buying a universal. So it doesn't matter where I move the gun, I can always do it. Originally, this would have screwed into here and it would have snugged up and the hose would have been a hose. If you wanted to turn the end, you'd have to turn the whole thing. That's cool. And last but not least is this guy. It's got a heavy duty spring, heavy duty spring that pushes down on it. So when you do this, these fan out. It makes it easier to get the end in. But when you close it up, like I said, this spring pushes up against it. It's not coming loose makes it really easy so I think I've covered everything cheap grease guns nothing wrong with them probably 25 30 bucks lube shuttle was I want to say like 30 or 40 bucks by itself this little lock in lube was probably 29 or 30 bucks by itself and I probably spent another 10 for the little swivel And this worked fine for years. I wouldn't do the lawnmowers that often. I'd probably do the cars if I could find a, a grease fitting on the suspension. I would do those probably once a year. But when I bought my John Deere tractor, it has a front end loader with a lot of grease fittings. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and ended up getting something that would make it a lot easier. So only one other device I'll show you. On the John Deere tractor, the universal joints that go for the drive shaft are hard to get to. This has got a tip that the grease will come out. The idea is that you push this right up to where the ball bearing is and square it so you can eject the grease a long ways. Like if you had some place, you know, tight that you needed to get into that you couldn't get your hands to. And it's pretty easy too. This just has a uh, it just has a little grease fitting in the end. So you'd simply just let's see if I can get this right. There we go. You would just click this to it, and there you go. Now you can get grease to some place that's really out of the way, hard to get to, so you don't have to remove stuff. When you're done, you just Pull the handle and pop it off and you're done. The normal procedure when you want to grease something is you find where the grease fitting's at. Before you put grease in it, you try to get any old dirt or the debris or grease. Because what'll happen is when you get done, there'll be some residue on there. And it'll pick up the dirt. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to force dirt into your joints. In a car, this might be where the axle would be, or maybe a turning component. So the way the loop shuttle works, you open it up, you put it over the fitting, and you release it. And the spring does all the holding. And then you can literally just squeeze the handle, and grease comes out. I'm going to move this real quick. See if we can see grease coming out. So I just wanted to, to do a recap from the front of the lawnmower. We've got we've got grease fittings here that allow the front wheel to turn. We've got a grease fitting underneath this that allows this to turn and we've got a grease fitting down in the wheel that locates the wheel. So as the wheel turns it's lubricated. We've got one, two, three on each side and then there's one on top of each spindle and those are the locations to to lubricate on the riding lawnmower and most riding lawnmowers will be the same so grease gun check grease check rags check i'm gonna take my gloves off for greasing i don't want to have my gloves on when i grease right there's one grease fitting you've got another one down low on the tire usually it's about 
three pumps. This one's got a clip so I can clip it on there and it won't come off. One, two. Got one right because it seems like all the grease is on the outside. Let's try this one again. There we go. Let's see if that gets it. Grease is going inside, and Orb is just squeezing out because it seems like most of the grease is on the outside. Let's try this one last time. Oh yeah, that time it went in for sure. For sure. Not all of the bearings have grease fittings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's seven greases in that one. The other one does not have a grease fitting. It looks like it might have. Had a place for one at one point or another, but no, nothing's ever been put on there. Turn the wheels, make it easier. Break that off. Break that off. Let's see. We can do better this time. Get this on the first try. Okay, there's like six shots in there. Trying to go three shots in that one. You can see the greases coming out there. I swear there should be. Yep, I thought there was one more. Jack it up to get this one. There's four, yep. It's coming out now, it's right there. I'll get the one done on the other side too. And then that should be it. All right, it's the end of another video. And I just wanted to tell you thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope I didn't do something too unsafe. Anyway, I just wanted to remind you, I never know what I'm going to be doing next, so stay tuned.